woman with money is a woman with choices, and a woman with choices is a woman with power. Hello and welcome to another episode on Randoms. I am Sharon Ajay, and I'm pleased to have with me in the studio Ozana Okora for Grrrr, aka Ozona. <laughs> Come on, don't bring that here. <laughs> okay, of course. I'm so sorry I brought that. But, well, I have Ozana with me in the studio. And of course, just like you know, we have lots of trending um, you know, issues to talk about. But we're going to go on a short break now. And when we return, of course, we'll dive right in into what we have for you today. So stay tuned. <music> Welcome back. And if you're just tuning in, this is Randoms. And of course, I have Ozana Okorafor with me in the studio. A certain woman with the ex and do named at Fort Wayne tweeted, and I quote, This woman that wants to do Enna for me said she can't leave the house until her husband leaves. Hmm. And later that day, she tweeted again saying, We've done the Enna. She said she can only take transfer in her husband's account. No BVN, no account number, nothing. Hmm. I've gone to withdraw cash. This is the lady still tweeting. I've gone to withdraw cash. Not on my watch. Am I sending her money to a man? Wow, this, this, <laughs> this, is, this is hilarious. <laughs> really, really. So, um, like I said, this woman on Twitter, at Fort Wayne, that's her Twitter handle, she, you know, a, a woman came to her house to do henna, if you were listening to what I said. The henna this, yeah. Yeah, the and, and the woman said, before then, when she had contacted the woman, okay, come, I need you to come and do henna for me. Mm -hmm. The woman said she can't leave the house until her husband leaves. I don't know how that rule, what rule is in their house, but that was what Fort Wayne tweeted. Okay. And I said, that's not enough. When she came to um, the Fort Wayne's place to do the henna and everything, when she was done, you know, the normal thing we would do, of yes. course, to send transfers, you know, money and via those, transfer and mm -hmm. all of that. The woman said she doesn't have an account. There is no BVN. There's, you know, there's one thing to have an account and say, okay, I'm not using this account anymore. Mm -hmm. Then there's another thing to never have an account, account to your all? name. No BVN, nothing. And, you know, you just got a lot of persons talking on social media. And it's just, it's just... It's just so sad, really, at this point. It's really sad. And that brings me to the conversation of women, you know, financial freedom. And before I even go further into that, what do you think about this? Because this is really sad. And I want to hear your thoughts on it. I mean, my thought is, in this dispensation, mm. you do not have a personal account. It's questionable. It's, <laughs> did you it's, say it's, it's questionable. questionable. <laughs> and yeah. why do you feel the need to also wait for your husband? Are you playing sneaky links? Like, are you doing a hide and seek game? Is it not your husband, your of partner, mm. the father to your children, your soulmate? Mm -hmm. I mean, your best friend. I mean, my best friend, your best friend. Why do you have to wait for him to leave the house? It, it doesn't, seem doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. It's a red flag. Yeah. In fact, is there any other color apart from red? <laughs> that's what it is because it doesn't seem well. I don't think that it, it, it doesn't work. Of in, course it in doesn't. In this current, even back then, it shouldn't even be a thing that, oh, your husband is around and you want to go and do something for yourself, something that you feel good with. Unless, though, it's something that your husband don't want you to do. Mm. Something that he has told you, I don't like this thing, don't do it. And then you have to sneak to go and do it. Mm. But even if your husband says you don't like this thing, why would you not sneak to do it? When you come back, he'll still see it. Exactly. Yeah? Uh -huh. So I think there are two ways to it. It, it doesn't sit well that you do not have um, the freedom to leave the house when you want to leave the house, to do the things that you want to do, and also have to wait and now transfer the money to your husband's account. No, it doesn't sit well with me. That, really? In my opinion, that's not nice. It's, it's really sad. And just like I said before you started speaking, I talked about women, financial freedom. Like you're a woman. Aside being a woman, I feel everybody should have their financial freedom. If you are working, you are earning your money you should be able to account for your money now nobody is saying do not give your husband a part of it or do not save a part of your whatever you want to use your money for but your money should be accounted 
for you you should be able to account for your money just imagine after doing lots of work a woman is asking you your account number and there is nothing to give not that you have network issues or whatever you don't even have bvn so if someone ah. sees you it's exactly really that was what a uh, twin tweeted <laughs> so if someone sees you and say okay i want to bless you they can't even bless you to your account it has That's to be true your husband's account that means you can't even withdraw money from that you account do you even know that there are some women that after struggling and everything and they get paid or after hustling after whatever sales they make they tend the money to their husband that's i don't know <laughs> no, i think same with this this woman it's laughable isn't mm -hmm. it yes of course it is it's the same thing with this one because why should you not have your own account what if there's an emergency exactly is not around exactly and you don't have his card uh, of course it's just one card you can mm -hmm. have for a particular account mm -hmm. and maybe it's a joint accounting which is not even stated in the in the tweets. exactly so why we are that? still even battling you know the funny thing is we are still even battling with joint accounts or yeah. and all of that let me let me tell you my mom <laughs> still keeps the joint account she had with my dad wow and, and said, money still goes in yes she had to go to the bank tell them look that's my husband's account we've had a joint account even if it's late i want to i don't want to have a personal oh account. okay so that's like legendary that's when there was a good community communication good foundation compatibility and love and respect mutual understanding in the marriage hmm. but for this kind of marriage i don't think there are basis i don't think that foundation is there no trust me but, well we are judging from this like an assumption yes, right now yes. you could you could see that because there's one thing to just come and say okay no i use my husband account now the girl is not or the lady that tweeted would not even have um you know she won't be suspicious of everything anything but the reason why she's suspicious and the reason why she posted was the fact that when she you know texted the lady or called her and said okay come i'm ready for you to come do the end or whatever she said she can't leave the house until her husband leaves that alone is suspicious like you're trying to you know like what no. happened you can't leave your you have a work there is a time that we fixed for this work so what mm -hmm. is my business with your, husband? with your husband you should be able to sort that out and come and do the work I mean, you need I have to do other clients so, that exactly. me, so, I have to wait so if i fix two o'clock my husband what if he doesn't feel like or leaving maybe the house unless maybe your husband wants to drop you off and he doesn't want to follow him that is it that's that maybe. that's another angle yes. but now judging by the fact that she doesn't even have an account number and uh, account rather and she it's being run by her husband's account rather is what she's using listen, then there's a big suspicion listen, Sharon, i know it's sweet i mean for me when i have to use my man's card to do a lot of things Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> now that's because he gave you the card mm. that's express okay there's an understanding oh baby you can have my card but this i don't think that's the case here. they say no bvn babe <laughs> just okay let's say okay let's leave account number let's leave account number there is no bvn do you know what it means? Meaning this lady has never registered an account to her name. At that all, is terrible. She's not a child. Of course, that's a woman. I want to believe she has children. And she has never registered an account to her name. It's, it's, it's not understand. At this point, I can't even understand At this it. point, she needs to hear her money, her power. Hmm. She needs to hear. In fact, she needs to join that campaign because a woman with money apart from the fact that oh you're not married or you're married even in marriage having your own money mm -hmm. having something that you can rely on or even something that you can help a man with because having money as a woman is going to make you help a man exactly it's going to help you help a man i mean exactly. we are helpers we are yes help mm -hmm. so what happens if something happens your husband breaks down somewhere and you can't even rush up to use your own account to do something for him well it doesn't seem well with me, my opinion exactly you know there's this pride that comes to that comes with the fact that you can actually help your man yeah now you can have a man doing everything for you and just a little thing you just you just want to Those help you understand it might not mean anything so but it feels yeah, so good like, knowing that i okay. earn my money i'm in charge of my account i'm in charge of my finances and i can also spoil my man exactly I can also do things exactly until i wait oh there's a leakage and the, i need to call the plumber and I have to wait for my for your husband, husband to come. come Something as little plumber. as Maggie, you need to. Let me even tell you. There's a story oh, of this on, woman. Mom. At this one, I guess she has an account, um, account and Vivian and all of that. Even but with account, some people still suffer. It's not yes. About do you account. know what this might do? It would buy foodstuff a lot of foodstuff now women are the ones at least what we know in this our time women are the ones that buy foodstuff and yeah, do all of that but this man does picture. that and put it in a room now that room is locked and the woman cannot go into the room so whenever she needs uh, maybe she needs to cook jello rice he goes in hey, how I'm many mudu okay laughing. dry pepper and you know see That's it's laughable now but i'm telling you this is someone i know this like we had the conversation situation. really we had this conversation one-on-one -on -one. 
and it just tells you how much you know of a burden or how much I, I don't know of the word to fix. That some so men, yeah. Wants, I mean, it's, no, it's too much. It's it's really, yeah, it's it's much. much and it's really sad. It's and sad. I can tell you that some mothers of our mothers, some of them went through this phase and they are now letting their children know that <gasps> this is how, yeah, too. exactly. It's now yeah, like a generational something. Olivia, let me even go and buy the full stuff now. So you rest, <laughs> my sister. Let me go and buy it. Let me know how to grind it. My mind. goodness, my goodness. Oh, really, on, when we talk on. about, if we, if we say we want to sit on this matter, we're going we'll to talk like for Ever, for a very long time. really. Um, in a different development, an eight year old Yemani girl has died of internal bleeding on her wedding night after marrying a man five times her age. This is really sad. <laughs> a social activist and two local residents said in a case that has caused an outcry in the media and revived debate about child brides. Arwa Otman, head of Yemen's Yeman's House of Folklore and a leading rights campaigner said the girl identified as Rawa was married to a 40-year-old man in the town of Medi in Aja province, northwestern Yemen. On the, on the wedding night and after intercourse, she suffered from bleeding and uterian rupture, which, co which caused the death, Otman said. They took her to a clinic, but the medics couldn't save her life. Otman further said the authorities had not taking any action against the girl's family or her husband. Ozana, <laughs> Ozana, Ozana, Ozana. See, like my head ah. is full at this point. Mm. My head is full at this point. I don't even know what to say and how to address this issue. Because we are talking about a human being. It's not an animal that will say, okay, he doesn't have sense. He can't reason. He doesn't have a soul, no conscience. So probably that is why he acted a certain way. This is a man. And not a man. This is a full-grown man. A 40-year-old man. And you are picking an 8-year-old child as a bride. It's, it's God. <laughs> I really do okay, not know what is there at this point. Let's come from the roots. Mm. I, UN released a report that in Yemen, okay. that's the city here, yeah? that over 1.3 million of them or billion of them are poverty stricken mm. and they cannot afford the cost of raising a girl child or daughter yeah daughters that they have to give them out for marriage early so that that burden leaves them mm. now what is wrong with having to manage whatever you have with your child an eight-year-old child child bride should there be a law that hmm. it should it should be it should be abolished, bound, thrown into the bottomless pit of the beast? Eight year old. That's Eight just that's, few that's three years away from being five. My God. A five year old child is even considered as a baby. It's a baby. The eight year is even still a baby. Some don't even talk so well at five. Some start talking well at six, seven, eight. And then now my problem is this man, okay, fine, let's say it's your tradition that mm. you can marry a younger child or they give out a younger child. It's okay. Why don't you wait until that child is at the age of accountability before you indulge in anything sexual? Exactly. This lady has not even... I'm not sure she's... She's, she's not even up to ten. She's not an even adolescent. She has not passed through puberty. <laughs> she's still a baby. She's... A a baby how do you really? have a sexual intercourse with a baby to me but if you ask me this question that is total rape because i believe that eight-year-old lady a uh, girl rather did not con of, of For course real, because she didn't consent to that she oh didn't does she even know what sex does is she even know what sex is you know you you said something at beginning let's let's start from the roots we are going to start from the the country yemen <sighs> right i yes. believe it's a country let's even start from let's there start from there because what laws do they have now, like you said, you said, they, uh, uh, you know, they are one of the poorest countries, right? You said UN stated that they are yes. uh, one of the poorest countries. Yes, UN released something like that. Okay, like that. aside that, now we believe that there are laws that you could go marry someone much younger. But you also said something. Are, are they not, the law, does it not have a particular age? Is it that you can just, you could pick a baby so and say, you can this marry is what. a five-year-old child or even a three-year-old child. Because for that man to do something like that, picking an eight-year-old girl, marrying her, then I, I believe there is that, no age. I, I believe there is no, there is no value for a girl in child that's life exactly. in that um, environment or city or whatever it is. 
In fact, most of the things going on, I think the world government should be able to start stepping into most countries My that God. have such bad um, traditions or cultures. It is not right. It's, I mean, it's not. how it's can not. you? It is hurting. Okay, now I heard that the the family of the of the man and even the family of the child they are not even they are just like um, that. Everything now is being put on the hospital. Of course, they would look for because th th this it's the fam the family of the man and family of the of the young girl that died. They were actually in line with the you know they accepted the fact that the man wanted to marry the girl. So it's not something that he did in secret. And it's just funny how some quote and unquote pedophiles, because it, you you definitely you are a pedophile for you to you know you just use marriage to cover to your cover, your fetish. Yes, your fetish and your kingpins or whatever that is, that's desires terrible. that you like to have. Because what is in <laughs> God? <laughs> like you can't you, you can't. <laughs> it's it's something. It's heavy. It's so difficult to even say out. Really, I have my my I have a baby brother that is older than that girl, and whenever I come home, we just. You know, hug me and welcome and, and all of that. And I, I just see him as my baby. Like my baby. How are you, baby? Come, take this thing, go and get something. Then someone that is older than is there doing. Ah. And where we are, we are even complaining that you are 12, you are 14, no. you are doing some things no. you are not supposed to do. An 8 year no, old. Sharon, why should a 40 year old man even take an 8 year old girl as a wife? What does she know wife? about being a wife? Can she cook? Can she clean? If not because of your can fetty, she birth fetty a and, and oh my lord. She, of can course, that girl give that lady has not. I'm sure uh, I keep calling her a lady. That girl has not started menstruation. Of course. How that can, girl has how not can started. You and I involve in sexual something with that kind of someone that has not even seen her menstruation yet. I'm sure she doesn't even know what it what is. What was going on? Maybe I'm sure she might even be thinking oh, it's a, it's a liberation and the next thing the, she follows she might not even know oh, that they are giving her off oh a marriage. That's, that's she might really just know sad. that, Sharon. Really sad. Really, really sad. I think it's high time we really try to you know, look into the things that have to do with girl, child. We really need to look into it because Apart from that, imagine she died of uterine rupture. Hmm. I can just imagine the pain, pain the little girl went through before she was even being taken to the hospital. And I, I feel like oh, some things in her body have not even finished developing. Of course. You know, someone said, <sighs> you know, while we're talking about this, someone said, maybe he's just looking for a virgin. I'm like, the hymen has not even developed fully. Ah, what virgin? So there are, no, hmm. there are no other virgins that are 16, 17? Okay, let's say you... I, I, I'm on, one thing is my major concern. Good and fine that maybe there are cultures like that. Why don't you wait until that girl is is even okay? The least, the smallest, smallest fifteen. At and least fifteen, you've developed. Okay, what are you touching on her body that you're enjoying? That eight year old actually developed breast fully. Your husband, your wife, with whatever God has blessed oh them, the God. features they have on their body. What are you touching? What are you enjoying? Is there a reciprocity? Is the girl having to? give you the pleasure back no that's this, no, this, no, no. This. We, i can't even imagine up to there because it's uh, no as a lady it's, uh, it's, i think this is uh, in all of the program episode we've no had on randoms this and is now, like one of the talk most about difficult the one really the parents you as a mother exactly exactly if you when they told that your child died because believe it or not if that man said okay this is my fetish to be with a younger lady now you can't you can't even stop that but you as the parent opening your child to that kind of to a pedophile kind of to that kind of evil i mean that's then evil, we need Sharon. this is your child you better this child evil. it's evil so even as a mother let's say you 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 married early probably 12 13 11 did you enjoy it at the beginning that you are subjecting this little child to the at same pain? You know, some mothers feel like, oh, because I went through it, some other person can go through it. Oh, you can. No, you don't have to use. You know, some mothers will say, hey, you know, cesarean session is not. No, no, no. You have to push like a woman. You have to. Meanwhile, whether it's cesarean session, whether it's surrogacy, whether it's, it's, it's coming from the vagina, it's all childbirth. Yeah. Most of these things, our parents also need to culture is they need to cop it they need to stop because it all has to be with them it exactly. all starts with them exactly exactly so sorry to chip this in this uh, some of our parents sorry to say they are manipulated they've been manipulated to think a certain way yes. and now they are trying to push that same culture that same mindset on us to the children 
this lady i can i can bet you that the mother was a teen wife mm. a teen bride and she has now tried to push that mindset push that culture but on fine. her child it's okay to be a teen bride but this is not even a teenager this is a baby. <laughs> Please let's you know this this trust this kind of uh, conversation, conversation to, to go on exactly and, on and, and it on. has <laughs> on social media there's a lot of lot of things going on. People are talking, people are angry and all of that. So we're going to take some comments from um you know Twitter. And first comment we're taking is at Potato. <laughs> Such a name. <laughs> Potato says, How is that even possible? Where did this happen? Like bro. Ain't there some rules in this country that this happened? Exactly what we're talking about. Like, yes. are there not laws, there no laws to guide people not to do this? Are there not laws to abolish and curb this kind of nonsense? Because this is nonsense. Really? It doesn't make sense. And even if you believe in child child marriage child and all of rights. that, are there not, is there no Wait. age gap bracket? There should be an age gap or bracket to it. At 15 is okay. For oh some God. people who say, okay, they really like mm -hmm. marriage. So, okay. Let's say age of accountability, 18. At 18, everybody knows, oh, I want to do this. I don't want... Even at 15, it might be, look like you're being forced or coerced into doing it. Mm. I know that at 18, it's an official age worldwide, age of accountability. Exactly. Next, we have um, Chrissy. Chrissy says, don't force your child, your kids into marriage. Money, with a question mark, what is money worth? You're, you're a horrible person if you do this. You are a horrible person if you do this and next we have jc's lawyer jc's lawyer says how disgusting you have to be as a person to make the death of a little girl about how you feel are you not tired of being so self-centered hmm. next we have alexandra alexandra says he wanted to make a baby with an actual baby, baby. the same thing we're talking really about. you want to make a baby with an actual how can a baby carry what a baby? The baby to now suffer oh my god on even i don't know i don't Ex know exactly what just what you said now alexandra also says only for the baby to suffer like a poor mother oh god i don't want to breathe the same hair as these as monsters this really really, really. Monsters. because you are not long oh. you're no longer a human being if you could look at a baby in her eyes and do such terrible thing to that child this man might even feel um he might even feel what do they call it um, out of it. What about the, there was a video that went viral where mm. a man had something to do with a small baby of uh, whether it's six months, mm. eight months or thereabouts. Hmm. Can you imagine? <laughs> Ozana, Ozana, we, we cannot, we can't, see, I we can't, can't even, zero. oh my God, oh my God, we'll be wrapping this up now, because if we keep talking about this, it's you really, you could hear our voice now, we are really sad, we are really, really God. sad, we are really sad, and we can't take any more comments from now, because we know that Twitter people, you guys are so angry and mad Twitter about this situation, so really, don't, go, don't play with Twitter, really. Twitter they will drag you, <laughs> so that's a wrap up on Randoms today, thank you once again, Ozona. Okara for, for joining us on today's episode. Well, we're calling it a wrap up now. Do follow us on our YouTube, of course, Twitter, um, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, Global TV, of course, channel 365 on DSTV, right? And Star Times channel 276. I and Ozana, we are saying bye. bye.